I'm the developer of the Nextcloud news app for Android. And I'm excited to be here today and to talk about a new feature that we've been working on, um, which is called the Nextcloud single sign-on for Android. Um, some of you might be wondering, what is single sign-on? Why do we need it for Android? Um, so, a couple of weeks ago, we received on our issue track on GitHub a comment where someone said that every time he tries to um, convince new people to use Nextcloud and all the apps that go with it, um, there's a point when they try to install and set up all the applications on their phone, and then they have to, you know, like log in in every single app, set up username, password, type in the URL, then there's like always a different login dialog. Um, so it's really a hassle to get everything up and running. And that's when they just be like, oh no, I'm just gonna use Google or whatever, which is like easier to set up. Um, so, yeah, user experience is uh, yeah, not there right now. Um, yeah, users need to log in into every single app. Um, every app has its own login dialog with own custom design, custom buttons, everything is like differently from the layout. Um, every app has the username, password, and URL. Um, so there might be some security concerns that app might misuse them and send them away, for example. Um, then there's also the new login, web login app tokens, uh, which most third-party apps don't support yet. Um, and yeah, the error handling, for example, when VPN connections are breaking or self-signed certificate support is not working, um, the error message handling just mostly just has like, oh, not pointer exception or some other random exceptions which users don't understand usually. Um, for developers, it's uh, always a hassle to start developing for Android because there's a lot of custom um, yeah, connection handling because everyone has its own server set up. Um, you need to handle uh, self-signed certificates uh, properly. You need to support HTTP2 now, uh, proxies. You need to store credentials securely on the device. Um, then you also need to implement the new two-factor authentication or the app tokens. Um, and you need to store the login data. Um, yeah, and many more things to consider. And this is something that every developer has to do over and over again. Um, so we were thinking, what can we do to make this easier for developers to start working? Um, so we created a centralized login method, um, which makes it extremely fast to log in into all the different apps that you install on your device. And for example, when you change your password in your next cloud, you have a single place. You only go to the next cloud files app and change your password there and then all the other apps will automatically use the new password. Um, and as a good thing for the developers, we don't need to worry about storing the credentials anymore um, because we're gonna leave that task to, to be us in the fast app. <laughs> um, and we also have some integration for Retrofit and RX Java. Um, yeah, so let me show you a quick demo how that looks. Um, so when you start the news app, for example, which will be coming out in the next couple of days, hopefully, um, then you can click on the use single sign-on button, and then it will ask you which account you want to use from your files app that you've, uh, all the accounts that you've set up in your files app. Then you can just select one, click on OK. Then you click on sign in, and then it will just sign in. So that's as simple as that, as setting up a new account in another app. Um, so, to summarize um, the new features, we have a unified user experience across all the different apps now because we have one, um, the login screens uh, provided by our library then. Um, we have improved security also and for developers, you don't need to implement the whole network stack again, worry about self-signed certificates and all those different edge cases that can occur. Um, and yeah, contact is uh, yeah, Tobias and me. Um, and there's a link to the GitHub page where there's lots of documentation and how it all works and how to set it up. Um, yeah, huge thanks to everyone who contributed their ideas and to everyone who was involved. And we're still looking for developers to try out the new library and to give us some feedback.